Hello humans! Master Dinner Flies here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve. And today, or actually not today, a few days ago, we got new Super Heavy Samurai cards announced, and I thought that was a little interesting. So reading through the cards, there were some that were pretty hit or miss, but some of them that hit hard uh, are these four. The four you see in front of you, and I think by now you've probably heard people talk about them. Basically, this new level four is a better version of Monkey Board when it comes to the idea of one card scales. But not only have I seen people talk about all the pendulum combos you can do and have even been asked about them, the truth is the combos are very obvious. Uh, it is basically just you can make beyond the pendulum easily. And because of that, there's not actually a lot of reason for me to even demonstrate that. Because let's go into each of these card effects one at a time so I can kind of demonstrate how this works. So this three of Super Heavy Samurai Bike, the card that literally looks like Wind Up Snail. Uh, if you have no spell or traps in your graveyard, which uh, I'll get into that in a moment, you can discard it to search the Super Heavy Samurai monster except itself. This one, you can place another Super Heavy Samurai scale uh, from your deck and then it summons itself. This one is one of the souls, which means it has the ability to equip from your hand or field to a Super Heavy Samurai. And this one's effect uh, can treat the equipped as a tuner, and then it can also summon itself. And then finally, this one, you while you have a Super Heavy Samurai monster, you can search any Super Heavy Samurai scale, uh, soul, my bad. Now, all those effects I mentioned, outside of this turning one into a tuner, all of these effects require you to have no spell and traps in your graveyard. Now that sounds like a bit big restriction, but uh, they're starters. There's nothing stopping you from playing these cards first then activating spells and traps. So let's give a very early demonstration of this. We'll discard the snail, I'll call it, to search this one. This one will set this scale and summon itself. And then the other scale will add this to hand and we will go ahead and equip it to this one, and then this allows it to summon itself. Now, under normal circumstance, people were saying, oh, be on the pendulum right here. But, uh, this card is a tuner. Of all the reasons this card could be broken, it's a tuner. And we're not even done discussing the broken part about be it being a tuner. Because we're discussing beyond the pendulum and all the pendulum combos. The final effect on this card says if this card is used as a synchro material, and add it to the extra deck face up, you can place it in your pendulum zone. Uh, excuse me? That's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and synchro summon. Um, shall we? Let's make a super, uh, Karakuri Steel Shogun. <laughs> it, listen, we're, we're summoning more samurais whether you like it or not. Just this is a different type of samurai. So chain link one will be burrito and chain link two will be the scale, which allows it to place it in the pendulum zone. And then we get the level 4 Kara Curry Tuner. And I guess you guys can see it now. The other secret card I had set for this quick combo is Makina Deployment. Let's go ahead and discard a card and add two Makinas from our deck to our hand. At this and at this. Unclass Power will go ahead and summon itself by its own effect when it's added from deck to hand. We're locked into machines for the rest of the turn, by the way. But I made this entire combo knowing damn well that's fine. So, Unclass Bar will go ahead and we will dump Fortress. And then we will synchro this machine and this level 4 machine tuner into another burrito. And this burrito will go ahead and summon out this one. Now... Theoretically, you could just keep the chain going, but I didn't want to play too many of these. And this one on summon, we're able to change the battle position of a Karakuri. We'll change itself. Oh, uh, why does that matter? Because both of the burritos trigger, so we actually get two random draws. Now, if you haven't figured it out, by some reason, this is Earth Machine. So, from now on, the rest of the combos I want to demonstrate, which, to be fair, even started before this, the way Earth Machine works is it's a very strange combo deck. And it itself does a very linear, strange combo, but it drastically changes each time you draw a piece of the combo in a specific sequence. So because of that, the two random cards in your hand plus the two random draws 
can have drastic uh, changes to what your inboard is going to look like and what your combo is going to look like. But for this demonstration, I wanted to make this as simple as possible to understand. So keep that in mind. If you've played Earth Machine before, you already know this information, but just in case someone doesn't. So, we will go ahead and overlay those two level eights into gigantic champion Sargas. Now this isn't coming in the set as the Super Heavy Samurais, it's actually coming before. So this is uh, around the same time period. And with champion, we will... Harvester is going to trigger on summon, and we are going to add the other target, Trencher. We can go ahead and do a few things here. It'll be a toss-up of what you want to do. Uh, like, we can go into the rank knight, enter Blathnir to rip a card out of opponent's hand. We could go into Infinity. There's a lot of things we can do here right now. So let's give a simple demonstration. We will toss this to summon Fortress. And we will turn activate Harvester, turn Fortress and itself into level 9s, and we will make Enter Blathnir, detach the Fortress, of course, and then there we go. We rip a card out of our opponent's hand. Now, one thing I will say about this, which I guess makes this so incredibly funny, is, like, we're locked into machines, but you notice how I didn't search Brutal Dozer? Something I've noticed is all the combos I was doing... Nothing required me to search Brutal Dozer, and a lot of the times it was a needless card that could make the inbird board worse. So, like, these wind and fire and light machines are totally accessible, which, uh, while we are machine locked, the fact that we're not earth machine locked does make a massive difference. So, let's continue on. We are going to go ahead and summon Trencher by attributing the Gear Gigan. Now, we could turn these two infinity into infinity and call it a day. That is totally an option we have. Uh, and like, again, depending on what your end opening can was, you might just go infinity because you have everything you need. But for now, let's just go into River Stormer. We will detach the tunneler. And then we will search uh, Derek Rain. Now, we will banish machines, a level 8 and a level 4 into summoning Ruin Force. Then we will link this away into Goliath, which allows the Derek Rain to summon itself. Overlay those two level 10 machines into Dora. Then we contribute this to summon the River Stormer, which can attach the Goliath. And then because we already have so, so many Earth machines to play with, we can actually just go ahead, vanish, put this back, two, three, four, five, and then we get, again, two fresh draws. 
So we've maxed out our hand, ripped a card out of our opponent's hand, have an Omni Negate, have follow-up that's not going to get ran over because we can just stare crane. So we have a pop, uh, our opponent's playing with one less card, Omni Negate, and then six cards on the follow-up, plus our graveyard is filled with follow-up because the Ruin Force is going to be in there again. This is a lot. This is actually a very impressive combo, and like I said, because it's Earth Machines, your end board depends on the pieces you draw throughout the combo. And especially since we're changing that number from 2 to 4, it adds even more variance that you only really pick up on the more you play the deck. But that being said, like, that was a very casual way to establish this. It's very nice, very interesting. And the fact that Brutal Dozer wasn't used at all brings up the question on is there a way to totally invalidate it? Because being machine locked is one thing, but being earth machine locked is very different. But we'll have to see how that plays out. But yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinner Flex will take your soul.